Today I'm going to show you a couple of examples on how to use box multiplication to multiply a three digit number by a single digit number. So in our first example then we've got 238 times 7. So if we draw a rectangle out and divide the rectangle up into three boxes because we have a three digit number and we need to break up 238 into hundreds, tens and units and write this above the top of each box so we've got 200 3 tens which is 30 and 8 units and the number we're multiplying by is 7 so write this at the side so we just now need to work out 200 times 7 30 times 7 and 8 times 7 and write each answer in the three boxes so our first one then is 200 times 7 now we can cover up the zeros to make things easier so 2 times 7 is 14 so if we write that in the box and since we covered up two zeros we need to add those zeros back on so in our next box we've got 30 times 7 so again to make things easier cover up the zero and just work out 3 times 7 which is 21 and I covered up one zero so add that back on and in our final column then, final box, we've got 8 times 7 which is 56 so once you've got those three numbers then we just need to add those up so 6, 6, 6 and 1 so our final answer is 1,666. So let's look at example 2 then. So we've got 639 times 4. So again, it's a three digit number. So we need a rectangle with three spaces in, three boxes. So if we break 639 up into 100 tens and units, so we have 600s, three tens and 9 units and we're multiplying by 4 this time so again we can cover up the zeros to make things easier so what's 6 times 4 that's 24 and then add the two zeros back on in our next box we've got 30 times 4 so again just work out 3 times 4 that's 12 plus the zero and our final box we've got 9 times 4 which is 36 so finally then we just need to add these three numbers up. So that's 6, 5, 5 and 2. So our final answer is 2,556. Thanks for watching.